Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Mr. Remon Calculator. I know from my last channel, Remon Calculator, I had some instructional videos on calculus. So I'm only going to remake the most important one. Consider the most important rule of all differential calculus, the chain rule. And it's also the most difficult to understand for some people. So, let's work this. Y equals f of g of x. So, let's say we have a function nested within another function, so which is equivalent to another function. So, we have y equals f of g of x. How could you possibly take the derivative of this? Well, there's a simple rule, and it writes out like this. dy dx equals f prime of g of x times g prime of x. This can be a little confusing. I know this. It can be very confusing at first. You may be wondering, what's f prime of g of x? So, let's do a simple, simple, simple example. Um, let's say, find dy dx of y equals sine of 3x squared, let's say. You can use product rule, you can use quotient rule, you can't, it, it, if you did somehow do it by miracle of some supernatural power, they did it by uh, the difference quotient, applaud to you. That would be nearly impossible for people like me. That would be impossible for normal people. That would be impossible to do this by difference quotient. For, or it could just take a lot of time. Fortunately, we can use a chain rule. So, f prime of g of x. We have, uh, let's use a different approach. What's the derivative of sine? Let's say that this stuff inside these brackets was just a regular x. What's the derivative of sine of x? We know that. That's cosine of x. So we'll say cosine of something. This is f prime of g of x. So this something has to be 3x squared times g prime of x. 3x squared is g, is g of x, so we want to find the derivative of that. So that would be 6x. So your final answer is just 6x cosine 3x squared. Simple as that. Let's try another example. Uh, perhaps non-trigonometric. Maybe something with radical. Uh, y equals square root of x squared plus 3. Not too bad. Once again, you want to look at this outer function. The outer function, in this case, is the square root function. So dy dx would equal uh, 1 half times x squared plus 3, and 1 minus 1 half is negative 1 half times the derivative of the inside, which is 2x. Now, I'll leave the simplification up to you. Yeah, why not? Th these two cancel. So your final answer is going to be x times, um, can you see that? x times x squared plus 3, the negative 1 half. Uh, that would be x over the square root x squared plus 3. There you go. So, that's the chain rule. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thought you found it helpful. Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, I'm Mr. Ramon Calculator. More calculus tutorials and others coming later.